Hey gang, I'm Jeff Barker from Sabarak, and you're watching Chili in the Name of. Chili in the Name of. Hello again, welcome to another episode of Chili in the Name of. In this episode, I'll be revisiting Sabarak quality unique condiments with two sauces, including fermented ballistic buffalo sauce and fire melon fermented hot sauce. As you may know, I'm a big fan of Jeff Barker's work. Um, he's uh, producing fantastic and amazingly uh, diverse sauces, uh, really always quite inspired and really masterly in their production. I haven't tried either of these ones, but I'm really looking forward to them. So without any further ado, let's get on it. The first sauce I'm going to try for you today is fermented ballistic buffalo sauce. There's ballistic buffalo right there. Uh, it's got a chili and a, a couple of chilies and a buffalo there, uh, hence the buffalo sauce. Uh, in terms of color and consistency, this is a really beautiful red red coloration there. Um, if you can see, it's, it's a sort of a medium consistency buffalo style sauce. Um, that red is really catching the light there. It's really beautiful in terms of ingredients It has cayenne white wine vinegar and sea salt. It doesn't get much simpler than that um, there, there are three ingredients in this and it's a fermented sauce. So let's try it out Look at that it's beautiful the consistency in there is just lovely Smells very vinegar and cayenne. Couldn't really smell like much more, but you can smell that it's a fermented sauce. Mm, that is fantastic. It's a very mild sauce, but because of the, the fermentation, it's got this beautiful vegetal sort of um, flavor to it. It's a little bit minerally, I'm not sure what that is. That could be from the fermentation itself as well. Uh, and the sea salt just gives it that sort of uh, foil to the to the sourness of the uh, vinegar and the um, fermentation itself. Um, this is, a, a, it's a, it's, I reckon it's a wing sauce. Um, you could put it with uh, pretty much anything, but it is really, really um, a mild sauce. Um, Jeff actually does say here, uh, mix mix with butter to make the most epic wing sauce ever. I might have to try that out. Um, he gave it a heat rating of two out of 10. In terms of heat for me, I would give this a one out of 10. In terms of flavor, it's a really great uh, wing sauce, buffalo style sauce, cayenne sauce, and I do love a good cayenne sauce, so cheers. The second sauce I'm gonna try for you today is fire melon, fermented hot sauce. There's fire melon right there. It's got a melon and it's on fire. Uh, again, great artwork. It's got it going all the way around uh, and flying through the back of, the back of the label as well. This is a hot version of the watermelon sauce that Jeff was probably actually the first sauce that I tried of Jeff's. It's, it's a, quite a unique sauce, this one being quite a bit hotter. Um, again, the consistency is is really quite, uh, really well macerated and, and quite smooth. Um, and it has that beautiful glow on it, just like the other one does. Uh, it's a little bit more orange compared to the red of the uh, the buffalo, the buffalo red and the orange there. In terms of ingredients, it has chilies, including red but jalokia, red savina habanero, cayenne, Carolina reaper, and yellow Trinidad scorpions. Watermelon juice, salt, and xanthan gum. Really looking forward to it, let's try it out. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the look of that. That's that glowing orange color. It's really appealing. I know it has a flow restrictor on it. I can see that because of the cap. Yeah, that's that's got a really uh, strong fermented flavor uh, smell to it. But it smells a lot hotter. You can smell the watermelon in there, but it's not right at the front. It just gives this beautiful fruitiness. Let's try it out. Mm. Yeah, so that's the watermelons there, the salts there, and then the heat comes. It's actually quite hot. Um, 
the fermentation of this gives it this really rich flavor um, and the richness of the flavor is, is really uh, it's, it's, it's em emphasized by the inclusion of the watermelon juice um, yeah this it, it's a really amazing uh, set of ingredients in there and it is giving me a bit of a sweat um, on the on the upper lip bit of bit on my forehead um, yeah look it's it's a, it's an inspired uh, sauce that's for sure um, and it's got a lot going for it in terms of the complexities of flavors uh, Jeff has given it a heat rating of 10 out of 10 in terms of heat I'd probably give this an 8 out of 10 it's really really quite hot but at the same time the it's rounded off by that that beautiful sort of watermelony uh, characteristic um, not unlike the other the buffalo wing sauce I'll probably use it in a much similar way uh, but probably a little bit less liberally yeah that's quite hot so there you have it folks two sauces by Sabarak quality unique condiments uh, if I had to choose a favorite out of these two uh, I'd be hard pressed because they're both really good I do think I'll probably use the buffalo sauce more than I'll use the uh, fire melon although the fire melon uh, has sat with me a little bit and it's it, it's an intriguing uh, heaps of heat in there uh, and, and heaps of flavor as well so they're both really really good uh, thank you for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, but until next time, see you later. Chili in the name of...